In theaters tonight, unplanned. The story of a former Planned Parenthood clinic director turned whistleblower who changed her views when she witnessed what she called an ultrasound guided abortion. Also, as the Georgia governor prepares to sign a new bill restriction uh, that's going to restrict most abortions once a heartbeat is detected, now Hollywood is threatening a boycott. Joining me now, the star of Unplanned, the movie, Ashley Bratcher, who also happens to live in Georgia herself. Ashley, good to have you with us tonight. Yes, thank you so much for having me. I want to read something that Planned Parenthood is saying about this bill in Georgia. They say these abortion bans are exactly what happens when politicians try to stir up people's emotions by spreading lies. The lies have to stop. And as you know, you've worked there in the movie industry around Atlanta. They had 450 or so productions there last year, a lot of big movies and shows. And Hollywood is saying because of this, um, they think that they may boycott the state altogether, some celebrities. Yeah, I think that's just a, a couple of loud voices. Alyssa Milano has been very vocal about where she stands on women's reproductive rights. And I just felt compelled because she was calling for a boycott in my home state to reach out to her and talk to her mother to mother, actress to actress, and as someone who lives in Georgia. Because Planned Parenthood wants to say that the politicians are lying. But what our film does is it exposes the lies that Planned Parenthood is perpetuating. And you know there's been a ton of controversy and there will be as this continues through the weekend. Part of the issue has been that this movie got an R rating, which a lot of people thought was ironic that young women who in most states could go have an abortion without their parents' involvement couldn't go watch the movie without their parents' involvement. Uh, and some think that R yeah. rating was specifically targeted at keeping Christian audiences, churches away from promoting it. Here's what Rush Limbaugh said. When you slap an R rating on it, guess guess who you're 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 basically telling they shouldn't see the movie Christians, which is the primary audience. So the MPAA slaps an R rating on this thing simply to further diminish its uh, its efforts to be marketed and thus to be seen. I mean, Ashley, do you think that's going to keep some religious audiences away from seeing this movie? You know, if anything, I think it's really empowered us in our marketing strategy because Passion of the Christ was rated R. Mm -hmm. It did pretty well. Uh, people are comparing this movie to Schindler's List. And I think that what it's doing is it's encouraging Christians to start talking about this and to talk to their children about it, to take their preteens and their teens, because if they don't, someone else is going to have that talk with them. Planned Parenthood has curriculum in our public schools. so. As Christians specifically, if you want to have a conversation about abortion, you need to do it yourself and do it now because it's critical. Yeah, and you know there are plenty of critics of the movie, so I want to read some and let you respond. In Variety, they review <laughs> okay. the movie. They say Unplanned <laughs> isn't a good movie, but it's effective propaganda, or at least it is if you belong to the group it's targeting. Those who believe that abortion in America, though a legal right, is really a crime. I mean, you had to know you'd get that kind of criticism, so how do you respond? <laughs> Well, I'd give them more of a response if they hadn't spelled my name wrong three times in the article. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I don't know how you can spell my name uh, three times wrong and I'm the lead actress. So try and tell me it's propaganda that you don't have an agenda variety. <laughs> okay, so for you now, I mean, uh, has this been a career choice to take this path? Are there those who you think may not book you or be interested in, in casting you because of your attachment to this movie? You know, I really walk by my faith in my personal life and in my career. And in 2012, I made the decision to give my career to the Lord. And I said, okay, God, I believe that you gave me these gifts and I want to glorify you with them. So wherever that takes me and whatever that looks like, I give it all to you. And that didn't necessarily mean that I was just going to end up doing nothing but faith-based films because I've done other things in the industry. But God has really just kind of placed me here. And I think even with my personal story attached to this, he, he has done a miraculous work in my life and through this film, and I'm just really proud and humbled to be a part of it. Do you think that people on both sides of this issue will actually go see the film? I do. Um, I have had a lot of pro-choice friends of my own go and see it. Um, I've had a lot of people I don't know on Twitter uh, send me tweets and say, I don't know you, I don't agree with you, but I respect you and I'm going to see the film. And actually one of my favorite reviews that I've seen so far was titled, pro-choicer reviews pro-life film and the headline read something like um, this film will challenge you more than any debate you've ever had on Facebook 
and the critic just said she cried through the whole thing mm -hmm. and left with so many questions and was challenged by it very much. Well, it's it's got some really tough material, hence the R rating, but as you said, it can spark a lot of conversations for people on all sides of this issue um, to give it a chance, keep an open mind, and have those conversations with friends, hopefully in a respectful way across the divide on this issue. Absolutely. Um, Ashley Bratcher, thank you very much. Great to see you tonight. Yes, thank you so much.